All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to remove the two big gears inside of here. Um, the clutch and then the, the small bevel gear right here. So first things you wanna do is remove this cover right here. I'm gonna use the impact just to make it quicker. Um, this is a five millimeter. All right, so you see your pressure plate, your big gear and your small gear. So you're gonna need, next you're gonna need a flathead. You're gonna remove this screw right here holding the flower nut. So it can't spin freely. Set that to the side. Now you're gonna need to push your clutch in, which is right here and then take the flower nut off. Cause if you don't push the clutch in, it'll be very hard to turn this. If you push it in, it takes all the pressure off of it. So take that off. Then you got your flower nut, your pressure plate and your spring. Set that off to the side. All right, so this middle bolt, uh, mostly every engine is a 19 millimeter. Um, I'm gonna show you, I usually use an impact, but I'm gonna show you that it can be done without an impact. Um, I'm gonna have to go grab a, another wrench. So, the easiest way to do this is to hold on to these and then grab your 19, hold it, and then unloosen it. And it was pretty loose already. Take this off, set it to the side. So you got a washer in there. You can either use a pick or a magnet. I usually use a magnet. Grab the washer out. Now, to remove these gears, this one and this one, you are going to need this puller. Um, you, ju you just need it. There's no other way to get this off. Um, so yeah, you're gonna take this side right here, screw it in here like this and screw it in as much as it can go. Take my adjustable wrench, tighten it down. Um, get it as tight as you can. That's pretty tight right there. Now you take this, and you put it in the middle and you screw it down until it stops. Now, this is a 14, so I got a 14 here. I usually use the impact, but today I'm gonna just use a ratchet. Um, impact pops this off right away, but a lot of people don't have an impact. So you're just gonna wanna turn this. You might have to hold it with these pliers. And then just keep tightening this until the gear pops off. All right. Well, there's the gear. That gear's off. And then back this out. Then you'll have to use the wrench to probably unloosen this, the puller. Ah, that one's in there pretty good. So I'll leave it for now. Then you can see the Woodruff key right there. 
Oh, that's good. Now this. The easiest way to get this big flathead screw out is a spade bit with the tip grounded off and an impact. This is the easiest way to get this off. Um, I mean, you can use the, the hammer style impact and I don't have one of those to show you, but this is gonna be the easiest. Just put this on here and that's it. Super easy. Um, been using that tool for years like that and it just works perfect. Um, you're gonna take this washer out if it'll come out. Might need a, a pick or something. This is an old motor that's been sitting around. There it goes. Set that to the side. Now you're gonna take your tool which I have to get this off to be able to use it again. So I'll grab my players. There we go. Now you're gonna take your same tool we used to get the big bevel gear off and you're gonna tip, flip it over and screw it in like this. I might add to it's some grease right here. It's good to put grease on these threads um, so you don't cross thread it or anything and so that it just goes on smoother. So yeah, just screw this on, make sure it's straight. Sometimes it can be a pain. There we go. Um, hold the gear with pliers. Tighten it as much as you can. It's stopped. Then you're gonna take this piece of the polar, put it in the center, and then just like before, hold this gear with the pliers and slowly tighten it. Now, the impact works really good for this. It just pops it right off. But if you don't have one, this works just as good. And there you have it, the gear is off. Um, get your tool off. Get your pliers. Sometimes these can be a pain to get back off. And there you have it. Um, both are off. Wood drift keys right there. Um, I just wanted to make this video to show you guys how to take these off. Um, use the, the puller. Uh, most kits come with them. If not, you can find them cheap. And you absolutely need them to get these gears off. Um, well, while I'm at it, let me show you guys how to get the drive sprocket off. It's very similar. Um, going to use the impact to take the cover off I don't recommend using an impact like I am if you're not familiar with these bikes because you can strip out um, all these threads very easily all right so got your drive gear right here this is a 19 millimeter. You're gonna have to hold it with pliers. Wrong way. 
way. Broke that loose. Take your magnet, get that washer out. Might need to use a flathead to Sometimes it's going to be tricky. Set that out to the side. So you're going to take your puller again and you use the big side and you just screw it, screw it in as much as you can. You have to hold it and use your adjustable wrench yeah. like I said sometimes these things can be a pain and you want to make sure the threads are are lined up as straight as possible when you tighten it down and sometimes this has happened before I've had this as straight as possible all the way in and this thing is stuck on so good that it just rips right out of the threads um, then, then you'll have some issues. Um, you can pop actually this whole gear out and then uh, put it on a vise and, and pound it off. But uh, that doesn't happen very often. Let's see. Might need to clean these threads out too a little bit. See, they're very, very dirty. I got that down as far as it'll go. And you take your other part of the puller, screw it in until it stops. Then you take your 14 millimeter. Tighten it until it pops off. See? That's what I'm talking about. The gear just pulled out. These threads are, are so fine. It's it's tough to get these gears off without stripping the the threads. It's, you can do it though, it's just, you gotta take time and... not gonna lie these pullers they're like sometimes 
they're like a one-time use so it's not a bad idea to have a couple see it just it won't come off um, you can see the threads are, sh are shot already um, I think honestly at this point if I wasn't able to get this gear off with the puller I'll show you what you can do take this wood drip key out set it to the side now put the nut on here because we're actually going to pound this whole rod out um, let me grab a hammer and you want to put the nut on there so you don't damage the threads right here and then just tap it so you can see the whole thing's coming out that's what we want take that off just like that and then the whole thing comes out now what you can do is Turn that on here. Grab you a hammer, come to the vise. I hope you guys can see this because I can't see the phone anymore. And you know, this is absolutely worst case scenario, but I'm glad it happened so I can show you guys. Put it just like that. Slowly tap the middle. 